Today we're going to talk about how to multiply two numbers. Let's look at some examples. Here's a good one to get us started. 27 times 8. Always write the bigger number on top. 27 times 8. Do 8 times 7. That's 56. So we write a 6, carry the 5. Next, do 8 times 2. That's 16. Remember that 5. 16 plus 5 is 21. 21. And that's our answer. 27 times 8 is 216. Let's look at another example. Again, big number goes on top. 29 times 5. Just go one step at a time. 9 times 5 is 45. So we put the 5 down here, carry the 4 to the next column. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, 145. Remember, that number that we carry gets added after the multiplication. It's 2 times 5 plus 4. The plus 4 has to come at the end. So we have 145, and that's going to be our answer. Here's another example. Big number on top, 33 times 8. 8 times 3 is 24. Write down the 4, carry the 2. 8 times 3 again is 24 again, plus 2 is now 26. So we can write down our 26, and we're done. 264. This one's easy. 4 times 8. This is something that we have on a flashcard. 4 times 8 is 32, and we're done. This is another easy one. 7 times 7. This is one of those multiplication facts that you need to have memorized. 7 times 7 is 49. Back to something a little more complicated. 15 times 5. Remember, big number on top. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 down there, carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So 15 times 5 is 75. This is another easy one. 5 times 2 is the same thing as 10. This one's a little bit harder. 24 times 8. 4 times 8 is 32. So we write down the 2, carry the 3. But here you can see why I said that knowing those basic multiplication tables up to 9 times 9 is so important. 4 times 8 is a small part of this problem. So if you aren't confident with that, go back and practice with those flashcards some more until they're more familiar. It's going to be really important to do problems like this. Anyway, we said 4 times 8 was 32. 2 down here, carry the 3. Then 8 times 2 is 16. 16 plus 3 is 19. 192. Couple more examples here. 46 times 3. As always, big number goes on top. 46 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18. 8 down here, 1 up top. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1, 13. 138. And the last one, 25 times 7. 7 times 5 is 35. 5 down there, carry the 3. 7 times 2 is 14, plus 3 is 17. So we can see that 25 times 7 is 175. And that's it. Don't worry if this still seems a little bit complicated. There's lots more practice for you to do. 
but this is a very important skill to master because it's going to come up all the time.